If the things of God come to church, all that is secondary. Like if I got something else going on, things of God can wait. Something else come up, things of God can wait. I'll get to that later. That's that's an indication that God don't that He's not first. He don't have all of you. If you wake up and be like, oh, I'm sleepy. Oh, I'm just gonna lay in this bed. Is that all? Is that is that to all your strength? No. You didn't get your strength to the pillow. <laughs> you didn't get it to the pillow. But when you press forward, even though how many people here today tired? I mean, who could who could you who could you smash to sleep? <laughs> I come to church a lot of times. I be tired. Like the bed feel good. I don't want to get up. Do y'all understand that? That sometimes, even though we here, we don't want to be here either. We rather we want to sleep. But we got to we press because he has all. And push past that. And then not only that, because sometimes that's Satan too, trying to keep you away from what God what God wants to do in your life. There could have been breakthrough, there could have been blessings. There could have been anything. There could have been something that in that church service that changed your life forever. I got revelations in church services, and they changed my life forever. And had I stayed home, I never would have got that. I never would have heard that. And sometimes it's not, you know, now today everything is streaming and everything can go live and everything. We didn't have that back in the day. We just had cassette tapes. You could buy the tapes and the cassettes and let it turn into CDs. And you can buy the CD after the service, but now they're streaming the stuff live. But sometimes even that is not enough for the experience. How could I? How could Floyd have got that word from Minister Damien watching the streaming at home? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody want to. So into your life, you didn't even know that. You had no idea that somebody was going to walk up to you and bless you in the service. And they wanted to bless you, but you decided to stay home. And then, and blessing you missed it. Then you didn't get it because you stayed home. The person was like, man, Lord, you know, I was going to bless you. Now you're at home still trying to wonder how the situation going to work out. And they, and they had they had the answer because God had told them to give that to you, but you didn't show up because you was tired. So that's how that's an indication to know if God has my all. If if things are secondary, if I put God second or third or just when it's convenient, when I got time. I mean, you know that even reading your word, you got to make time to read your word. You got to make time to pray. Because in the hours of the day, they can be consumed by everything else that's going on. And then when you get time, a little bit of time in that day, what you want to do? Most people want to relax. They want to <laughs> pray the Lord. Pray the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, most people want to relax. When, they want, when you get a little bit of time, you want to rest. You want to, some people try to watch their show. And so now that time could be squeezed into reading, praying, giving, uh, growing in God, but you gave it now to Hulu, Netflix, you know, whatever. But that's an indication. Do you know if God, does God have all your time? That was another one that was on the list. Does he have all your time? 